Moving on, let us welcome the Director of the Department of Energy, Renewable Energy Management Bureau, Attorney Marisa P. Cerezo, to share with us DOE's updates on solar PV utilization and regulation in the Philippines. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for um, having me here. To Dr. Maria Antonia Tachuling, Dean of UP College of Engineering, Dr. Enrico C. Paringe, Executive Director of DOST PISER, Dr. Jart A. Principe, Project Lead Leader of Project SINAG, Dr. Sars. Jarike S. Sarmiento, Director of UP Training Center for Applied Geodesy and Photogrammetry, and to all the distinguished guests, researchers, and participants from local and international institutions, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. It is my pleasure to be here with you on this significant day as we celebrate the achievements and milestones of the Solar PB Resource and Installation Assessment using geospatial technologies, which we, refer, which we refer to as Project SINAG. The Philippines is indeed blessed with abundant renewable energy resources and other natural, natural resources. Among the RE resources, solar energy is one of the rapidly developing sectors with increasing interest and investment in recent years. This can be attributed to the country's strategic position near the equator, making almost all of its area, whether on land, on rooftops, or on the surface of waters, ideal locations for solar power projects. The Department of Energy aligns its plans and programs with a global call for a clean and sustainable energy transition. Thus, the DOE has set in its National Renewable Energy Program a target of 35% RE share in the generation mix by 2030 and 50% by 2040. In order to achieve this goal, the Department of Energy implements various policies programs related to the development and utilization of renewable energy. Solar energy offers great opportunities to diversify and achieve the DOE target energy mix. To date, a total of 315 energy contracts covering solar projects for ground or rooftop and those on surface waters as floating PV projects with an aggregate install capacity of 1.3 gigawatt and a potential capacity of 26 gigawatts are being closely monitored by the DOE for their timely implementation. To ensure the continuous growth of the RE industry and accelerate the commercialization of RE projects, the DOE has put in place various programs and mechanisms for the promotion of RE such as the Green Energy Auction, the Renewable Energy Portfolio Standards, the Green Energy Auction Programs, among others. With the, unveiling, uh, with the unwavering support of both the government and private sector, as well as the collective efforts of researchers, engineers, and environmental enthusiasts, we are confident that the solar industry will continue to progress and thrive. From a national, uh, national standpoint, uh, we see that the benef benefits of the solar PV industry are multifaceted, wherein it not only contributes significantly to reducing our, car our carbon footprint, but also improves energy security and sustainability by, by, by diversifying our energy mix. The transition to solar power has also fostered job creation and employment opportunities in the installation, maintenance, research, and manufacturing sectors. In, con in conjunction with the increasing solar energy utilization, research and development has played a pivotal role in enhancing the efficiency and affordability of solar PV technologies. Breakthroughs in innovation have led to the development of enhanced solar panels, energy storage systems, and grid integration technologies, ensuring secure and stable energy. 
The DOE commends the team of Project Sina for taking the challenge in answering the global call for a clean energy transition. We congratulate the project team on the remarkable accomplishments in the assessment of the available solar PV resource potential in the Philippines and the development of forecasting model that can predict the output power of solar PV installation. The eventual completion of this project and the solar resource data that will be generated with this would benefit the country, where it has potential usage in policy formulation, infrastructure planning, and public awareness. As we progress, the government and private sectors will continue to support innovations that would foster environment conducive to investment, research, and development, while also emphasizing education and awareness among the general public. While we celebrate our country's milestones in development of RE, we however acknowledge that there are challenges that we face. Integration into existing energy infrastructure and our uh, grid infrastructure to be specific, intermittency and energy storage system remains as areas for exploration, investment and development. The government is committed to overcoming these challenges through continued collaboration with the private sectors, industry stakeholders, academics, researchers, and regulatory bodies. The progress that we have made in the RE industry is a testimony to our collective dedication towards sustainable progress. Our country continues to stand at the forefront of a clean energy revolution that not only bolsters our energy security, but also safeguards our environment. Thank you all for your continued support for a cleaner and greener future, as we strongly urge all industry players and everyone to participate more actively in the country's clean energy transition. As our campaign says, we enjoy all Filipinos and all of us to react, which is translated to choose renewables. All right, thank you very much, Attorney Cerezo. Indeed, there's so much more for the solar PV research and innovation in the country. And to all our audience, we hope that you learned a lot during the first part of today's events. Right now, we'll be awarding the certificates to our keynote speakers. Project CNAG presents this certificate of appreciation to attorney Marisa P. Cerezo for sharing her valuable knowledge as keynote speaker in the Project CNAG Colloquium 2023 with the theme Solar PV Research and Applications, Advancements and Challenges, held on the 25th of August 2023 via Zoom, signed by our project leader of Project CNAG, Dr. Jerk A. Principe and the Director of the UP Training Center for Applied Geodesy and Photogrammetry, Dr. Zar Jakiri Sarmiento. And we'd also like to give a certificate of appreciation to uh, Dean Tanchuling for sharing her valuable knowledge as keynote speaker in the Project Sina Colloquium 2023 with the theme Solar PV Research and Applications, Advancements and Challenges held on 25th August 2023 via Zoom. Signed by Dr. Jerk A. Principe, Project Leader of Project Sina and Dr. Zar Jakiri Sarmiento, the Director of UP TCGP. Now we'd like to call on Dean Tanchuling, Sir Art, Attorney Cerezo and Sir Jack for the picture taking. Kindly open your cameras. Thank you. Right. One, two, three, smile. Right. We got it. Thank you so much, Bob. All right. And to all our viewers and participants, we'll be having our pic group picture taking. So we encourage you to please turn on your cameras. Thank you. All right, we encourage everyone to please turn on your cameras. We're still waiting for you.
All right, I'll give you three seconds to turn on your cameras. Three, two, one. Yes, that's all we have. All right. So smile. One, two, three, smile. Awesome. Um, just a smile because we are going to be on the second page. One, two, three, smile. All right. I think we got it. Yep. Thank you. So once again, thank you so much, everyone. Before we proceed to the second part of today's event, let's first take a brain break for 10 minutes. Project CNEG or Solar PV Resource and Installation Assessment using Geospatial Technologies is a research project funded under the auspices of the DOST-MOST China Joint Research Program. It is led by Dr. Jark Principe from the National Engineering Center of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Together with our counterparts in China, namely Mr. Infeng Yao and Mr. Yong Chao Wei. Project CNEG, with its two components, Solar Pot and Out Solar, is significant to provide stakeholders in the energy sector scientific data on the potential output power that can be harnessed from solar PV installations. The project has these following objectives to assess the available solar PV power resource potential in the Philippines using high-temporal, remotely-sensed data that will consider meteorological and geomorphological aspects, as well as quantify the effects of high temperature and dust deposition on different locally available solar PV models, and recommend solar PV models that are highly tolerant to high temperature and dust effects. Including the project's objectives is to develop a web GIS for solar energy resource information access and decision support as well as conduct IECs and capacity building activities for various stakeholders of solar energy. And these are the following expected outputs of Project CNAN. To know more about Project CNAG, visit us on our website at www.cnag.nec.upd.edu.ph or visit us on Facebook. Project CNEG or Solar PV Resource and Installation Assessment using Geospatial Technologies is a research project funded under the auspices of the DOST-MOST China Joint Research Program. It is led by Dr. Jark Principe from the National Engineering Center of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Together with our counterparts in China, namely Mr. Infeng Yao and Mr. Yong Chao Wei. Project CNEG, with its two components, Solar Pot and Out Solar, is significant to provide stakeholders in the energy sector scientific data on the potential output power that can be harnessed from solar PV installations. The pro the project has these following objectives to assess the available solar PV power resource potential in the Philippines using high temporal, remotely sensed data that will consider meteorological and geomorphological aspects, as well as quantify the effects of high temperature and dust deposition on different locally available solar PV models, and recommend solar PV models that are highly tolerant to high temperature and dust effects. Including the project's objectives, is to develop a web GIS for solar energy resource information access and decision support, as well as conduct IECs and capacity building activities for various stakeholders of solar energy. And these are the following expected outputs of Project CNAG.
To know more about Project CNAG, visit us on our website at www.cnag.nec.upd.edu.ph or visit us on Facebook.